in a business acquisition due diligence investigation, rating key employees is just as important as the financial or the other due diligence that goes along with that. Identifying the key roles of key people in that acquired company is important by title or not. You won't look at the GM or other executives, but there may be other key roles and key employees that may not have the elevated title that you normally look for. Recognizing alliances between employees and key people is as important as the individual contributions they make. First, you wanna look at, are you gonna be able to retain that person? Are you gonna be able to retain them uh, by the acquisition happening or even afterwards by your corporate culture matching the culture of that person in those alliances? Future development of people might also be worthy of due diligence. Maybe there's a person who's kind of underrated or kind of an underdog in that company, but you know has potential that you can develop that individual into your corporate culture. Make sure that all of the employees that have value to the purchase are accounted for. If one is gonna leave or has a high probability of leaving, that you have the uh, opportunity to replace them with somebody of your own or to develop somebody in the company that's already there. Taking a look at whether or not an individual's contributions to the acquired firm are gonna increase or decrease after the acquisition is important. If your corporate culture, your management style, or your business um, economy of scale will affect a person's contribution, knowing what the net contributions of everybody will re compare with the prior company is an important thing to keep aware of prior to making the acquisition happen.